<laughs> oh, welcome. The purpose of this lesson is to work on the staircase and the foundation for our modern house. All right, let's dive right in. I'm using the dimension tool here to measure. Notice it reads eight feet. I think I'm going to bring it up a bit. Let's bring it up a foot. And then we can move everything up to nine feet. That will give a nice height for the ground level walls. And you will notice that I'm using the inference points from the other walls to match the same nine foot height. Double clicking would also serve the same purpose. All right, now let's orbit a little bit. And you can see the new height. Orbit. Zoom in. I will now use the measurement tool to create a guide. Now, notice the guide that I'm creating is 9 feet 4 inches. And the guideline is rising just a bit above the height of the wall. That's okay, because remember, there is going to be a ceiling here. Here, you can see that I am using the line tool to create the rise and the run for the stairs. The rise is 7.5 inches and the run is 10.5 inches. Now, select that pattern, use the Move tool, plus Control to create another copy. Then type X13, and voila! You have an outline of your staircase. Now, Let's take a little bit of time to relax and enjoy some soft music.
Oh, well, now I feel more relaxed. All right. Here you can see I'm using the guideline tool to create a series of markers 18 inches down from the top of my walls. Click 18 inches. Guideline created. Click. Come down 18 inches. There we go. All right. Now I will bring up the line tool to mark off each little section the line tool, pan around, all right. Now each one of these sections will become the top part of entryways, as you will see in just a moment. Let's get this one here, okay. Pan over. Now I will use the push pull tool. All right. The top part of the garage. Push pull and lock into place. There we go. One more. Snap into place. All right, now it's coming together. Now it's time for a bit of cleanup. We will erase some of these extra lines, even the little one here. We can remove some of these guidelines. This will help us see things more clearly. It's not so cluttered. You will also notice that there are some, some hidden vertical lines, which we don't need to have. So I will zoom in and remove them. There we go. Zooming around, oh, there's one back here. I don't need this. There we are. Oh. I forgot that one. Are there any others? Oh, there's one here. Let's zoom in. All right. That might be it. Oh, that there's one more here. We don't need this. All right. We call this cleanup. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is create a bit of depth to my foundation. So I'm moving into the components list and I'm bringing out the base, which I used before. 
that I'm going to explode it. Therefore, I will be able to make a new component. Call it the foundation. There it is. Pan over. Now I will double click it so I can edit it using the eraser tool. Think of this as the concrete slab that your home will sit on. It will be the base. It will give the home its strength. Carefully removing these lines, which I will not need. All right, just a few more. A few back here. There we go. Now, maybe I can remove these staircase lines all at once. Let me try. Orbit. Select. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Ah, it worked. Now it looks clean. Let me try and push pull. There we go, four inches. Now I will perform a bit of magic. Well, not really. I will select this level. I will choose my point carefully. And I will place it on top of the foundation. It snaps into place. Now, I will move both pieces back to the origin. Pan, move, and snap into place. Well, that looks good. Next, I would like to prepare the model for the ceiling. All right, I'm now going to create a series of lines which will be used as markers to outline the staircase opening in the ceiling. Two back here. Moving up just a bit. Remember, they are to be used as markers only. We will be removing them later. Okay. All right. Now we're going to work on a ceiling. We'll use the foundation to do this. Let's explode it and create a new component. Let's call it the ceiling. Now we can use the move tool to carefully place the ceiling on top of the garage. There we go. That looks good. Now let's double click and finish the outline for the opening for the staircase.
Now let's select it and push it through. And we can finish up by removing the markers.